Like, but I've been learning from Peach. <laughs> What if it was a Peach matchup, right? And then you just sort of seeing that walking around and be like, wait, wait, did I miss when, something? When did she? All right, cool. We're really jumping into this. What I was going to say earlier is I actually kind of like Zoner versus Zoner in this game because there's it, it's in a very aggressive game to begin with. And yeah. so, like, even look at this. These guys are already in each other's face, but they're still zoning. Exactly. But see, and now, just like we said, we already see damage from Mav on Myron early. And he's uh, sitting pretty right now. Purple Pikmin just saving his life right there. So one of the big things you're going to see that's a huge difference with Myron and a lot of other Polar Marmades is he always has the right colors that he wants on deck. You're going to see him having way more purple than you see most Olimar players have on them at all times. He Ooh. understands, he gets those characters on deck, and then he's ready. He's always, always shifting. He's always, he told me about that back in Smash 4, and so I, I'm so excited to see him. He's already taking his first stock off the map. Mav looking like he's a hard time getting in as he's getting overwhelmed by Myron right now. Yeah, I, I hear that is definitely important for the Olimar player to have an eye on which Pikmin they want and when. What a stock they're going up. Now two stocks to zero. Yeah, ready with Monique there, the purple, knowing that the big damage output would be enough to knock him out of the Nikita. Not, excuse me, not Nikita, the, the Cypher. Snakes up B. Yeah. Down throw. Very great knowledge there from Myron. And a good recovery from him as well. Yeah, see, said, we see this is this what purples. I'm talking about. Two purples, and he had the white. Looks like what will we'll pull now. He, he lost the purples. Most health out of all the Pikmin as well. That's why you'll see them for a while. Myron is actually so poised for victory right here. All right, there goes first stock. Yeah. But over 100%. It's going to be, Mav is going to be hard pressed if he wants to take this game one. I don't know if you saw that, but he was definitely uh, trying to bait him with a desync purple, I mean, sorry, a desync Pikmin. He had one on that top platform when he was charging that forward smash. Not many of you guys might have noticed that. Yeah, I definitely missed it myself. Good eye on you. And also, a good eye on Mav for not falling for it. Ooh. There's the up air for the win. That's another thing I love about Myron's play is he's always, like we were talking about how he cycles through these Pikmin, but he's really good at plucking the Pikmin and immediately doing an action, understanding where he's positioning himself. You saw him use his up B in order to position himself earlier before he got that down air on the ledge. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out there is you saw Snake do a down throw right at the ledge, and what happened was Olmar actually went off the stage from the down throw. Normally that will ground you and then you're put into a tech situation, but it, right. as we saw, it looks like Snake, if you do a down throw near the edge like that, you can just kind of go right off the stage. Now, uh, Olimar's hitbox is pretty small. Can he can he down throw uh, up to kill Olimar or, or will it whip? Oh, I, I mean, he should still be able to do it at a, at a percent threshold because it's he's still in the position, right? Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that down uh, okay. tilt starts from the very bottom. Down tilt, scooting across. And this is the thing about Olimar, man. You think that you got hit just one or two, actually both these characters. And then all of a sudden you'll be at 83%. It's like, what, what happened? The game yeah. just started. It's been 20 seconds and I'm at 114. He's racking that damage right now. Catches him pulling out a Pikmin, but purple's on deck. It's a little bit too short. But there he goes, there. Yep. up air with the purple once again. So again, those. Purple Pikmin having the greatest knockback of all the Pikmins, white having the least. So you're gonna see him go for a lot of kills when the purples are the next one in line. Myron implementing that up B, knowing he can act straight out of it, kind of using it as a third jump. It's also great because you can um, you kind of move around uh, horizontally with it, but it also kind of, uh, you can tech chase your opponent as they're trying to land, just because it delays a little bit, especially depending on how many Pikmin you have as well. Off stage here, Mav's gonna have to recover low, and he does, he air dodges up. You'll see that often for Snake mains. That's safe F smash on the ledge recovery. Oh man, that's tough, he's still wheezed he, he, through there though. Yep. <laughs> he's got the fancy flying. And he's been doing a good job of avoiding C4 as well, but that up tilt, gonna yep. catch. Mav there. Sealing out that stock. Oh! I see, okay. there's the yes. desync up now there. I yeah. see it. He, he wants to bait him to jump in, try to avoid something, but he's not ready for that Pikmin up there. You have to be really careful of that. Yeah, the interesting thing, he didn't jump, but he also didn't run in. He could have gotten a dash attack or uh, or pretty much anything, run up, up tilt. Yeah, but you know, he might have been spooked, man. I thought yeah. I thought there was going to be one right in front of him as well. Yeah, I did so too. I, I, it wasn't I, until I, it came out yeah, that I saw I was like, Oh, there. I see what you're doing, Myron. <laughs> 
Uh, so this is the big thing: is, is Snake is a heavy character and usually is okay with finding these trades because he'll put him in the right percent oh, going to uh, go for these kills. But when you fight against a character like Omar, who has this incredible damage output, and you don't have to super commit to any of it, that's that's where Myron really shown like up. Right.